task, isn't it, that you probably are avoiding. But your cleaning could free up some space and support our troops at the same time. Kate Swanson is the Development Director for the YMCA, and she joins me with more. Kate, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. This is as good as it gets in terms of causes. Tell us about Soldier's Closet. The Armed Services YMCA Soldier's Closet is a free store for junior enlisted service members and their family. Items range everything from baby clothes to adult clothes, small household items like toasters and microwaves, and the occasional large ticket weed whacker. Great. You're taking a lot of stuff in. I know you're excited. You've done this for several years, since 2003, mm -hmm. but this year is special because it's really a statewide effort. So all YMCAs? Is that We've correct? We've teamed up with all the YMCAs in Oklahoma and to do a statewide clothing drive. And how can you find the Y closest to you? You can go to ymca.net forward slash maps. Great. And then when does it take place? Is it starting right now or do it's we have already time going to clean on, out our closet? And you have until July 18th. Well, that's enough time to get some things done. So that's three great. weeks. Now, since you've done it since 2003, my mm -hmm. guess is you've learned what is most valued by those families left here at home while their loved ones are fighting overseas. What are those items that we should look for? We have a baby boom going on at Fort Sill right now. Oh. <laughs> and so we've got babies and young kids that need clothes because kids grow out of their clothes so quickly. Sure. And so kid items and baby items and then formal gowns. Our military families go to several balls a year and with formal gowns being so expensive, we definitely need those. And something I know you've learned is just how valuable this is to some of those families. How are you able to articulate that? It's the hugs and the looks of relief on their face when they come in and they find the perfect gown. We had one soldier's wife that came in and they had eloped because he was deploying and so she had never had her dream wedding and she couldn't afford to buy a wedding dress and came in and there was a wedding dress that was her size one day and just the look on her face and she said after five years I'm finally gonna get to have my dream wedding that is a wonderful story and then and when, when people come in and bring their their items I'm sure you hear wonderful things from them as well they love it because they know where it's going absolutely and if anybody wants to come and donate at the Soldier's Closet on Fort Sill, they're welcome to do that and we'll give them a tour. It's open on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 10.30 to 1.30. And we'd love to give them a tour. That's great. And I'm sure people will respond. Thank you so much, Kate, for all you and the Thank YMCA you. are doing this year. Again, here's the information so you can participate and help. You can donate to the Soldier's Closet at any YMCA location between now and again July 18th. And you can find more details on our website. It's news9.com slash first step four.